Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to share something a bit unusual and definitely interesting. So don't go anywhere, make sure you watch until the end. Step 1. Tools and Materials Preparation First, let's make sure we've got everything we need, including cement, pertolite, a type of fuel, a mixing container, mixing tools, molds, or shaping containers. Make sure all the materials and tools are clean and ready to use. Step-by-step -step process. Check the cement. Start by taking the cement out of its plastic packaging. Inspect it to make sure it's still in good condition, dry, smooth, and not clumpy. Scoop and pour. Scoop out a few spoonfuls of cement as needed and place it into the mixing container. Dry mix. Mix the cement evenly so the texture is consistent and there are no lumps. Add pertulate. Slowly pour in some pertulite. Add just enough, then stir thoroughly until you get a smooth and even mixture. If the mix feels too thick or too thin, adjust by adding more cement or pertolite, gradually, stirring as you go. Shaping Once the mix is ready, pour it into your mold or any container you're using to shape it. Fill it according to the size you want. Repeat until done. Repeat the process until all the material is used up. Work carefully and try to make each piece uniform and neat. Testing the result. After everything is molded and hardened, it's time to test it. Take one of the solid blocks you made and light it up. And sure enough, the fire flares up strongly and burns steadily. A bit of science and practical use. Here's a little explanation. What we've made is a solid block of cement mixed with pertolite. This can act as an emergency fuel source, especially useful if you're in a survival situation far from civilization or out in the wilderness. This solid fuel is portable and easy to carry. Once lit, it can burn for up to an hour, making it ideal for cooking, starting a campfire, or keeping warm until you can gather wood or other materials. Closing. All right, friends, that's it for today's experiment. If you found this helpful or interesting, feel free to try it out for yourself. Just make sure to handle everything safely and responsibly. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.